everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have been challenged by the Royal Windsor Horse Show to try some mounted games. So I'm here with the Pony Club England mounted games team. I haven't done games in quite a while. I did do a challenge Esme back in the day, back in, I want to say 2020. And I used to do games on my first Pony Mickey, but that was a long old time ago. You guys might have to remind me on some of the things that we're going to be doing today. But anyway, I'm going to let you guys warm up, get ready. We're going to see you guys in action. And then I'm going to have a bit of a go. So looking forward to it. So meet Candice, this is the pony that I'm going to be riding today. She is 21, I've heard that I'm in good hands, apparently she is an incredible games pony. She was on the England team last year as well, so she's been there and done it. Um, she's around 13, 3, 14 hands, so don't worry, I know that I'm on a slightly smaller pony, but I am the correct weight for her. Um, but yeah, we're going to be trying some games today, it's been a hot minute since I've last done mounted games. so. It, it should be fun. It should be good fun. I'm looking forward to it. I love riding little ponies and doing fun things. Yes. She's pumped. She's ready to go. Anyway, let's see the pros in action. Oh, actually, wait. Let's meet the team and meet some of the other horses. Hi, I'm Liv Cameron Clark and this is my pony Hazel. I've been doing Manta Games 14 years this year. My favourite game is probably Stepping Stones. At the Royal Windsor Horse Show, I'm most looking forward to the crowd and meet, maybe meeting the king. My name is Sienna Williams Ward and this is Izzy. My least favourite game is probably the Stepping Stones. I'm most looking forward to riding in front of the Royal Family. My name's Jasmine Willis and this is Merlin. My favourite game has to be Balloon. My name is Aaron Kelly and my horse's name is Eddie. My favourite game would probably be either Stepping Stones or Sock. I'm most looking forward to riding in front of the Royal Family and just being at Windsor Castle. My name is Lola James and this is Coco. I've been doing mounted games for nine years. I'm looking forward to meeting the King at the Royal Windsor Horse Show. My name is Lottie Warwick and this is Flicker. I've been doing Master Games for 10 years now. My favourite race is Sock and Bucket. I think my, what I'm most looking forward to is the first ride in the arena. This time last year, Flicker was retired. We brought him back into work because my other pony wasn't going very well and he has been at the top of his level ever since. Hi, uh, my name's Ian Mariner and I am the current Mounted Games Chairman. The competition at the Royal Windsor Horse Show has been sponsored by Dax for for the past 40 years. It's a great sport, it's a relay race. Very skillful. Royal Windsor is always a great year, um, a great competition for us. Sunday afternoon, grand final, double points, so the competition could be anybody's. So um, all to ride for, all to play for. Really looking forward to it. It was then time for me to get on Candice and get used to her and it's safe to say she is very different compared to what I'm used to which is a big slow warm blood Joey when she was very speedy and very small so here is us doing a massive fail at the beginning however the second time through on bending I got used to her a little bit more we weren't cutting the corners as much so my long legs weren't knocking down um, all the things but we got there in the end and I was so happy with her however then when when we Get actually <laughs> did a proper relay where I was holding a baton. I just, I just was doing it one-handed, which did not give me any, any favours. I should have held it with both hands. I don't know why I decided to do that, so <laughs> that resulted in me knocking some more down. But you know, you live and you learn, and now I know that you're supposed to hold with both reins. <laughs> but we did do a nice little changeover, so you win some, you lose some. All right, so we've just done bending. She is a speedy mare, that is for sure. Felt like going off on a rocket when she went, but she's really, really lovely, and she knows when we get to the white line on the way home to slow down a little bit. Um, I'm just getting like used to her obviously turning. I made a mistake. I should have held both reins while holding the baton. I just went one-handed. I went cowgirl girl style. That did not work. We did knock a few over but we're still getting used to each other so hopefully I can redeem myself. The next race is mug and I remember doing that when I was younger. Let's see how I go. <laughs> Good girl. So 
so we've just finished mug and I managed to do it. I managed to put it on, it didn't fall off. It was all good. Um, so really happy with that. Next we're on to bottle, um, which I've got to try and remember to do, which one to put down and pick up, but it should be fun. This is a little bit bigger than a mug as well, so it might be easier. We will see. All right, we've just finished bottle, which was so much fun. First time did really well. Second time, I might have gone a little bit too fast. Got a bit too excited, but did it in the end. Really happy. And I think next is flag, which used to be one of my favorites. So looking forward to it. finished five flag and don't want to toot my own horn but I did nail that one I got it in the cone I even got to do the last one at the end with the Union Jack which was so much fun felt like a proper mounted games rider but anyway yeah I'm just having a blast I forgot how much fun this is because I used to do it all the time with Mickey when I was younger and yeah just having so much fun it's coming back to me all of the games are coming back to me a bit rusty though <laughs> So I thought I would talk a little bit more about Merlin here because he has an incredible story. So he was actually a rescue, he's a Welsh mountain pony. He was actually found tied to a tractor. So he was taken in, has obviously been trained to be ridden and has done mountain games ever since he was four. He's now 28 and still going strong, still loving it. So um, actually quite a lot of the games ponies here are quite old, are quite senior. So it goes to show how long and good a life these games ponies have. They all seem really up for it. Everyone I've talked to has said, yeah, my games pony is pretty old, but they act like they're still young. So it's so lovely to see these older ponies doing something, keeping them young, keeping them going. So if you're going to the Royal Windsor Hall show, be sure to keep an eye out for Merlin. He has some beautiful markings as well. I love his little spot there. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out for him because he is a very successful games pony. Well done, mister. The team has just gone through um, stepping stones and also sock, which I did not do because they were all vaulting for that one. Don't worry, I have to wait to the end of the video because I am going to try vaulting, but we're going to do that last just in case I hurt myself. Um, so I didn't do those ones, but they looked incredible. Then I did stack, which was a little bit tricky. It was one of those things where I just need to give it a go a few times and then it kind of clicks because I don't really remember doing that one back in the day with Mickey. Um, but I managed to pick it up in the end, which I was quite proud of because it's quite far down and you're moving at the same time. Managed to stack it well and I think next we're doing the one where everyone has to get into a bag and jump, which I do remember doing. But I remember this one is basically the one where everyone falls over. Well, in my pony club anyway. These guys are, you know, top level, so. I, I feel like I'll be the reason everyone falls over. Two, three, two, one, go! Jump! 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 Ah! Ah. Whose idea was it to wear white? <laughs> oh my gosh, I probably should have done some stretches before running then. <laughs> Got it? Yeah, I can't see that. Oh, the milk crate, stop! My cow, I've lost my cow! Okay, go! Okay, round to the right, to the right. <laughs> Sorry if I was a bit rough, like putting your body on.
that. Boing, and the right leg over. Okay. Do you mind if I grab your right ankle? So I'll shut No, up the that's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll just yep. to make sure you're on the first Do side. whatever needs doing. Okay, so I'm just being taught how to vault. I, I did used to be able to do this, but that was about 10 years ago. So let's, let's give it a try. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> so close. quite have the right technique there. It was on my belly for a little bit, but I got on. I got on. Definitely not as flexible as I used to be. <laughs> good girl. Well done. You are so good. So good. Thank you for putting up with my silly antics. Good girl. Alrighty, I think we're going to finish off on that note there because, yeah, I'm done now. That's the end of the day. All the horses and ponies have been so awesome. So I just want to say a huge thank you to the Pony Club England Mounted Games team for being so fabulous today. They all rode incredibly, so best of luck for Windsor. And just want to say another huge thank you to the Royal Windsor Hall Show for challenging me today, having me today, organising this. So if you want to check out more information about the Royal Windsor Hall Show, I'll leave a little link in the description below. So be sure to go. It's a fabulous show. I've been many, many years before. A lot of fun. They don't just have mounted games there, they have top show jumping, they have driving, they have loads of other fun stuff. Also, if you want to find out more information about Pony Club or mounted games, I'll leave some links as well if you want to check that out. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you're new or have not done so already, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time. Bye! Good girl! You have been awesome. Thank you very much for letting me ride you.